YouTube Shorts are bringing in tens of thousands of dollars per month, and until recently, almost no one knew how. The wild part? They're doing it without ever showing their face. In this video, I'll break down how literal teenagers are pulling in thousands of dollars daily by posting faceless shorts on YouTube. I'll even reveal a viral niche and walk you through the exact steps to create your first video. But first, if you're one of those people who think shorts don't make any money, you were absolutely right up until a few weeks ago. YouTube has started increasing RPM, the amount you get paid per 1,000 views, and some creators are now seeing RPMs as high as 60 to 70 cents. That makes no fucking sense. TikTok is paying $1 per thousand views. I know, but here's the catch. It's literally 10 times easier to go viral with shorts. So forget that outdated mindset, because there are people out there making over $10,000 a month from shorts. And if you apply what I'm about to show you in this video, you could be next. When starting a shorts channel, the first step is to find a viral niche, something a lot of people struggle with. So I did the heavy lifting for you. I spent time researching what's trending on shorts right now and discovered a faceless niche pulling in millions of views. Some creators in this space are making thousands per video. Keep in mind, a single video can cost as little as $5 to produce if you outsource the whole process. Think about it. You spend $5, your video goes viral, and suddenly that small investment turns into $3,000. It's actually insane. That's more than what most people make in an entire month. Here's the niche. Pandas are the funniest animals in the world. And after watching this whole video, you may be wondering how they're not extinct by now. These videos take no more than 20 minutes to make yourself. But before I dive deeper into the niche, I need you to first understand how the YouTube Shorts algorithm actually work. The first thing you need to know is that going viral isn't about luck. YouTube simply identifies the best, most engaging shorts on the platform and pushes them out to as many people as possible. It's not random. YouTube can instantly recognize a high quality short based on one key metric. And if your video nails this metric, it's almost guaranteed to go viral. That metric, retention. In simple terms, it's how long viewers stay on your video. If you can achieve high retention, your video will take off. However, this can be a bit misleading. If retention was the only thing that mattered, people would just post one second videos and hit 1000% retention. But that's not how it works. In reality, YouTube actually favors longer shorts because they keep viewers on the platform longer. So 100% retention on a 10 second short is not the same as 100% retention on a 60 second short. What I'm getting at is that the algorithm prefers longer videos. How viewers interact with your video also plays a huge role in whether it blows up or not. You know how YouTubers always ask you to like or comment on a video? If you are still in the game, support me by liking the video. It's not because they just want your feedback. It's because engagement helps trigger the algorithm to push the video to more people. Just for context, that video got 29 million views. And later in this video, I'll show you exactly how to use this trick yourself to skyrocket engagement. But before we jump into how to actually create a video, there are a few things you need to be aware of. What most gurus won't tell you is that in order to make money from short you need at least 1,000 subscribers and 10 million views within the last 90 days, which can be a huge obstacle when you're just starting out. On average, it takes a new YouTube channel about six months of consistent posting to get monetized. I've been through this myself, and those first few months when you're basically working for free can be frustrating. So I took the time to research ways around this and found a website that sells pre-monetized YouTube accounts. These are channels that have been grown organically to meet YouTube's requirements, which means you can start making money from your very first video, saving you a ton of time. But that's not all. These channels also have a Western audience, which means the RPM is significantly higher. I talk about this all the time because it's something I personally use and it has worked better than expected. Is this necessary to succeed? Of course not. But if you want to start earning from your very first uploads, so you you can reinvest that money into more shorts, then I highly recommend it. Check out the link in the description. Now that you understand how the algorithm works, the next step is picking a niche. And like I mentioned earlier, I've already done extensive research on this and found a niche that has been consistently going viral for months. Chances are you've probably come across one of these videos before. These simple animal compilation videos. Here is a quick example in case you haven't seen one. It's not just their size that makes them special. Maine Coons have an incredibly friendly and sociable personality. They are often described as gentle giants. These types of videos are racking up millions of views and generating thousands of dollars. Take this one, for example. It currently has 40 million views, which means this video made between $4,000 to $8,000 in ad revenue. And if you just follow the steps in this video, you will be able to do the exact same thing. So the first and most important step to create a viral short is to find a good topic. 
everything else is completely useless if you mess up this step. Having an interesting topic is the base of all viral shorts, and without it, your video is doomed. I want you to imagine the core audience in your niche. What is it they actually want to see? The best way to figure that out is by analyzing videos in your niche that are already performing well. Since these topics have already proven to go viral, keeping them in mind when selecting your own topic, this will instantly increase your chances of success. Your videos will be 10 times more likely to go viral than if you just came up with ideas randomly. Here's what I do. I find the biggest channels in the niche by searching a few keywords, like animal shorts. Then, I filter their videos by popularity. From there, I go through their most viral content to see which topics are attracting the most views. This method works 99% of the time, but today happens to be the rare 1% where I'm not using it, because this time, I'm already ahead of the competition. After spending way too many hours doom scrolling shorts, I've noticed this little hippo called Mudang popping up everywhere on my feed. Seriously, just look at it and tell me you don't want to see more. But beyond just being cute, this tiny hippo absolutely dominating the algorithm and has become one of the most famous animals in the world. Over the past few weeks, everyone has been talking about it. Zoo visitors, TikTokers, podcasters, and even this f***ing guy who thought it'd be a good idea to dress up as a hippo on live TV. And now, of course, me. So we've locked in our viral topic. Now, we need to take it from just an idea to a fully edited video that's ready to be posted. I went ahead and analyzed all the top competitors, breaking down exactly how they create their videos. And here is the spell. It's not some random method. It's a carefully crafted formula designed to make the algorithm push your content to as many people as possible. This exact blueprint helped this channel grow to 300,000 subscribers and pull in a steady $10,000 a month. So let's get to work. Trying to keep your scripts super short for better retention won't cut it. I used to think shorter scripts would perform better, but that's just not true. Instead, take the time to really dive into the topic and aim for at least 150 words. But before you even start writing, you need to understand how to structure your script properly. Every viral script follows three key pillars. First, the hook. The first one to three seconds of your video are crucial. Your goal here is to spark curiosity and leave viewers with unanswered questions that make them want to keep watching. Let me show you an example. Today's national bring your own cup day at 7-Eleven. Let's see if they'll let me fill this up. See how those first few moments left you wondering, why does he have that giant cup? Will they actually let him fill it? That's exactly the reaction we want. For our video, I'd use something like this. This tiny hippo went from almost dying to becoming an internet sensation. It creates the same effect. What happened to it? How did it almost die? We've got the viewer hooked. Now we need to keep them watching until the very end. And what better way to do that than by telling a story? Adding a storyline to your shorts makes viewers stick around to see what happens next. Because every good story is structured in a way where the ending rewards the viewer, which is just basic storytelling psychology. All right, I've only seen a handful of shorts about Mudang, so all I really know is that it's an adorable hippo. And let's be real, digging up the full story on why she's so famous would take forever. So instead, I'll just ask ChatGPT to give me the full rundown. Now take the most interesting and engaging parts and turn them into a short story. For example, it says Mudang was discovered in a river in Thailand with almost no chance of survival. Boom, that's the perfect starting point for our story. Now, keep going through the information, pulling out the most useful and entertaining bits until you've got a complete narrative. Pro tip for you, you can make up stuff in the story if it makes your video perform better. All right, so the script is basically done, but there's still one crucial thing missing, and that is the CTA. At the end of the video, we need to drive engagement. In most cases, you need to directly tell the audience what action to take, but don't do it in a boring way like, please press the like button if you like this video. That is dry, overused, and just shit. Instead, make it fun and relevant to the video. Something like, tag your pookie in the comments, who looks like Mudang, way better. But how do we take the story up a notch? There's actually a powerful trick that makes videos more engaging and feel more more authentic. Only having one voice narrating the entire video gets boring. To make the content more dynamic, add in other voices or memes. Yep, more characters interacting will instantly make the video more entertaining and add another layer of depth. The best way to do this, find clips of other people talking about your topic and sprinkle them throughout the video. Remember that guy who dressed up as a hippo? I'm definitely using him in the video. You'll see, it's gonna be a game changer, but we'll get more into that later when we start editing. For now, just make sure to plan for these clips when writing your script so they actually fit within the story. 
dropping in a random clip at a random time without making it flow naturally will only mess up the pacing. All right, time to move on to the next step, the voiceover. Recording the voiceover yourself, especially for adding a second speaker, is a solid option, but let's be honest, most of you will probably go with the second choice, using AI. The tool I personally use is Eleven Labs. In my opinion, they have the most natural sounding voices and a bunch of useful features. Once you've set up an account, go to voices and check out the voice library. There are thousands of voices to pick from, but to make it easier, you can filter by gender, age, and accent. Once you find a voice you like, click add, and you'll be able to use it for your script. Now, go to the left-hand menu, click on text-to-speech, and paste your script into the text box. But before you hit generate, we can make it even better. Add commas, capital letters, and exclamation marks to tweak the tone and make it sound more expressive. Then, generate the voiceover a few times until you get a version you're happy with. This tiny hippo went from almost dying to becoming an internet sensation. Sounds good? Great. Now, before we jump into editing, we need footage of Mudang to use throughout the video. Obviously, we can't film it ourselves, so we'll have to source it from somewhere else. The best method I found? TikTok. Just search for the topic of your video, in this case, Mudang, and use those videos as your visuals. TikTok will keep suggesting endless clips of Mudang, so just pick the best ones. Ideally, ones without heavy editing or excessive text overlays. Another great trick? Check which TikTok clips have already gone viral. If a video has tons of views there, chances are it'll perform well on YouTube Shorts too. But here's a huge thing to remember. Make sure you have permission to use the clips. Otherwise, the original TikTok creator could file a copyright strike on YouTube. Now imagine, you're racking up 10 million views, your channel is blowing up, and then, bam, someone strikes your content. Not a fun situation, trust me. All right, now that we've gathered all the visuals, it's time to edit everything together. But don't overthink it. Editing for shorts isn't that deep. You don't need flawless editing like mine, because honestly, no one cares. Since we're keeping things simple, there's no need for expensive software like Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects. Instead, I'll be using CapCut, which, by the way, costs zero dollars. And CapCut also has a web version, so you can access it easily from anywhere. Once you're on the website and signed in, create a new project. Now, upload the voiceover from Eleven Lab and drag it onto the timeline. Use the razor tool to cut out any silent moments by making two cuts, like this. Then, just delete the middle clip. This helps speed up the pacing and boost retention, especially if the AI made any awkward pauses or mistakes, it just makes the video better. But if you want even faster pacing, try overlapping clips by a few frames. This is called a J-cut, and it's a technique used by some of the biggest creators out there. Adjust the pacing as needed, and repeat this process throughout the entire voiceover. Once you're done, listen back and make sure it sounds natural. This tiny hippo went from almost dying to becoming an internet sensation. Like I mentioned earlier, AI voices can sometimes sound robotic with those weird long pauses, so fixing this makes a massive difference. Now, it's time to upload the footage we've gathered. Drag the footage over the voiceover track. Make sure the entire voiceover is covered with relevant visuals. I've analyzed some of the most viral videos in this niche, and none of them keep a single shot on screen for more than three seconds. This keeps the video moving at a fast pace and makes it much more engaging to watch. Remember how I mentioned the second character earlier? This is where we introduce Mr. Hippo. Place him somewhere in the middle to keep the view are engaged. Just be sure not to keep the same clip on screen for too long. Once you've added all the visuals, review the video to ensure everything looks good. Now comes what's probably the most important step. I can guarantee you won't find a viral short without this element. Have a look at the channel's most viral videos. Can you spot it? They all include captions. It only takes a few seconds to add them, and it significantly boosts retention, so don't skip this step. Beyond that, captions also help brand your channel and make it stand out from the competition. To add them, click on captions, select a language, and hit generate. CapCut will automatically transcribe the entire video, but by default, it applies a plain, boring style. We can improve this using CapCut templates. CapCut offers hundreds of pre-made animations to choose from. To access them, go to the right side and click on the Templates button. For shorts, I recommend using high-paced animations, something that displays one or two words at a time. Once you find one you like, click on it, and it will be applied to the entire caption track automatically. And if you want to make it truly unique to your channel, head over to the customization options, play around with fonts and colors until you create a style that truly represents your brand. Now, the final touch, adding music. You could go with a trending sound, but I like to find something that actually fits the video. Since I have absolutely no talent when it comes to music, I'll let AI handle it. Head over to ChatGPT and ask it for music suggestions based on your video. Hit generate and it'll give you a list of music genres to choose from. Now to actually find these songs, you'll need a copyright free music site like Pixabay. Just type in the genre 
camera, pick a song you like, download it, and drop it into CapCut. But don't make it too loud. That can literally ruin the whole thing. Go to the right panel and adjust the volume so it blends in smoothly. Most people would tell you to export the video here, but I think we can make it even better. Personally, I think the colors look way too plain and boring. So let's fix that. The best way to do this, add an adjustment layer. Drag it over your clips and stretch it to cover the entire video. Now, any changes you make to this layer will apply to everything underneath. So just go to the right panel and tweak the colors until the video looks more vibrant and engaging. You can boost saturation, exposure, and temperature, but don't overdo it. Once that's done, export it. Click the button in the top right corner, set the resolution to 1080p, and frame rate to 60 FPS for the best quality. And just like that, your video is ready to go. This tiny hippo went from almost dying to becoming an internet sensation. Now it's time to post your video. But more importantly, stay consistent. It might take a while for the algorithm to pick up your content. So if your first video doesn't blow up instantly, that doesn't mean it's bad. You have to give YouTube time to find your audience. And if you don't want to take my word for it, take Mr. Beast. Make 100 videos and improve something every time. And then on your 101st video, we'll start talking like maybe you can get some views. You heard him. 100 videos. But here's the thing. You already have the exact formula used by the most successful channels. So chances are it won't take anywhere near 100 videos to see results. But YouTube automation isn't just about making videos. There's way more to it. Finding viral niches, monetization strategies, and scaling your channel beyond shorts. And I can't fit all of that into a single YouTube video. So if you want to go deeper, I've got a free Discord community where I share everything I've learned. It costs you nothing to join, and I'm sure you'll find something valuable in there. I'll leave the link in the description. Later, 